Hey guys! Salut mes amis! Ok, hallo gebar! Maxime here. This video will focus on a script that, as the title suggests, checks how many keys you're pressing. Sounds dumb, right? But just you wait. It can be very useful for new players, or even for globals, since you can basically add rules to your movement. All thanks to this guy for cooking, I just added some salt and pepper and put it on some clean plates. To install the script, simply put this into your auto exec file. If you don't know how to create a config in 2020, check the video that should have popped up on your screen a few seconds ago. Click it! I don't want to see you in the comments section asking questions. If you want to make sure that the script works, don't touch any of this stuff. Basically the aliases, WASD action 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 are pretty much responsible for making most of it work. The number is how many keys are being pressed at the same time. Since WASD are 4 keys, the max amount is set to 4 and the minimum amount is set to 0. Since you're allowed to not press any of them keys if you want. Here at the end is where it gets spicy. If you don't press any keys, this will trigger. If you press one key, this will trigger, two keys, and so on, I think you get it. This is where you have full control over what commands should be triggered, depending on how many keys you are holding down. So here is where you can come up with some pretty creative ideas. Also, don't forget to edit these so they match your movement keys. Since I normally use WASD like a normal human being does, I can keep them as they are. Ok les français vous êtes normal aussi. Alright, let's go back up. As I'm pressing no keys, I want my crosser gap to be small. Then as I hold down one key, the gap increases and if I hold down two or more, the gap will increase even further. Here's how that looks in action. Key presses not included. Now why would something like this be useful? Well, if it isn't obvious, as the gap becomes bigger, I'm being warned that this may not be the best time to shoot. With these small visual changes, I can learn to avoid my bad habits of shooting at the wrong time. This idea can also be combined with the different crosser styles because the script only focuses on the gap with key presses while the different styles focus on movement speed. But I prefer style 4 which is static and that's when only the script is making changes to the crosshair. Now, let's talk about the bonus feature, which I know you were looking at before. The bonus feature is kind of like training wheels on a bike. It allows you to control when you can shoot or not. To allow shooting, simply add enable attack, and to block it, add disable attack. So here's how you could do it. By only enabling attack with one key press or no key presses, I'm allowing myself to only shoot when I'm not holding down two keys or more. This will force me and my big ego to play around the fact that I can only shoot if I press one key or no keys at all. Many players around the world, not including me, have a bad habit of holding down two keys while peeking. Since you would have to release two keys to slow down and press two different keys to counter strafe. Counter strafing with two keys to shoot is not recommended since no normal human being can perform this maneuver with ease. But because the script doesn't allow me to fire a bullet while holding down two keys, maybe my stupid autopilot mode will teach me to play it smarter. Now obviously there are moments where you need to shoot and hold down two keys, which is why this bonus feature is off by default. You can turn it on or off by pressing this key, which for me is H. Since I can turn it on or off, I could turn it on during deathmatch or retakes to get the juice going and then turn it off when I'm playing a competitive game. You could even change it a bit to only allow shooting when standing still and you don't even need the crosser changes. This is perfect for noobs so they stop doing this. Or maybe if you press all four keys at once, you can execute a super secret config file. Well, the possibilities are endless. Oh, and I feel like I don't need to say this but I will anyways. You cannot get VAC banned for using scripts made by commands that come from the game. That would be stupid. So stop being paranoid. Some community servers may not allow you to use scripts, so if you are playing on those servers, then it will obviously not work. I'll leave a link below so you can try out the script for yourself. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you like what I do, stay awesome, and go bananas.